So let's think about all of the different ways that we can represent seven ninths. Seven ninths. So let's just visualize seven ninths. So here I have nine equal sections, and seven ninths you could represent as seven of those equal sections. So let me get our set, get myself a, a bigger thing to draw with so that I can fill this in fast. Which I don't like how that looks. I'm going to use the paintbrush. So here we go. So that's one, two, three, four. You know where this is going. Five, six, and seven. So that's one way of representing seven ninths. We already know that. That's not too interesting. But let's see if we can represent seven ninths as a sum of other fractions. So let's imagine maybe we can represent it as, let's do it as two ninths. Give my, use a different brush here. So let's represent it as two ninths. Two over nine plus plus I don't know let's see maybe three over nine but that doesn't quite get us to seven ninths yet two over nine plus three over nine is going to get us to five over nine so we're going to need two more so it's going to be plus another two over nine plus another two over nine plus another two over nine so what would this look like so let's Let's just draw another grid here. So this is going to look like, I'll try to do it right below it so that we can see how they match up. So we have two ninths. We have two ninths. This two ninths right over here. Well, we have each of these is a ninth. We have nine equal sections. So two ninths is going to be, so we're going to get one and two. And then we're going to add three more ninths. So one. One, two, three. So we had three ninths right over there, and then two more ninths, and then two more ninths. One, one, and two. So notice when I added two ninths to three ninths to two ninths, this equals seven ninths. And we know that when we add a bunch of fractions like this that have the same denominator, we can just add the numerator. And this is why. This is 2 ninths plus 3 ninths times 2 ninths is going to give me 7 ninths. Let's do this one more time. This is actually a lot of fun. So let me draw my grid again. Let me draw my grid. And then let's, let's see what we can do. So let me get my pen tool out. Pen tool out. Let me make sure my my ink isn't too thick. Well, this is fine. And let's add a couple of ninths here. So let's add, let's add first one ninth, and I'm going to write all the nines in blue. And let's add two ninths, and then we could add, I don't know, maybe we could add, let me give some space here so we can add more. And maybe we could add three ninths, three ninths, and then we could add, let's see, that won't get us. You see, one ninth. Actually, let me just write this. Out. I'm going to try to add. Four fractions here. So let's add first one ninth. See where that gets us. So one ninth is going to get us right over here. So that's one ninth. So let's say we add two ninths to that. So two ninths. Two ninths. Get my little paintbrush going on. So that's one and two more. Two ninths. So that still doesn't get us there. This gives us a total of three ninths. One plus two is three. Three ninths. So let's I don't know. Let's add. Let's add. Let's add four ninths. Four ninths, and I'll do that in this blue color. So four ninths. That's well. That's different enough. Four ninths. So let's see where this gets us. Actually, well, why not? So four ninths. And so that's going to get us one. Two. Three, four. So that looks like it got us all the way because one plus two plus four is going to give us seven, seven ninths. So what could we put here? Well, we could say zero ninths. Why not? So we could put in, we could call this one right over here zero ninths. And how would we visualize that? Well, that's literally saying none of these, no, no ninths right over here. So this is one ninth plus two ninths plus four ninths is equal to seven ninths. So these are all different ways to decompose the exact same fraction.